won't sound good. It's a different from, different from, all right? viewers and subscribers who are going Zion coming at you again with another tutorial but first I want to thank each and every one of y'all that helped me to reach that milestone that 1,000 subscribers I thank you I thank you enough respect a special big up to all those who have been supporting me from the jump you know all those who have been in the comment section all those who have been hitting that thumbs up button and all you know now to all the newcomers, I just want to ask you guys to go on down there and hit that subscribe button. It takes less than three seconds. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit all so whenever I post a new tutorial, you know, you'll be first to know. This channel is all about island music, reggae, ska, soca, and all. Now I know you guys love the Bob Marley tutorials, so I'm going to hit you with one right now. This one is entitled Zimbabwe by Robert Nesta Marley, of course. So grab your guitars and let's go! Okay, so now that we zoomed in, all right, this one, you're gonna need a, first, you're gonna need a D major and E major. You're gonna need a C sharp minor, B minor, F sharp minor. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five chords, all right? Intro and a verse. All right, so it also has a little stock line, you know, if you so choose to play. And for all those, you know, who don't know, a stock line is a, you know, a guitar line that accompanies the bass line. All right, so I'm not going to do too much talking in this tutorial. I want you guys to follow. All right, I'm just getting in from work, but I know I got you guys to, you know, to serve. So let me just do my little part and, you know go to bed <laughs> anyways here we go to get that the intro we're gonna start at the fight the fifth string no the fifth fret my bad right there you want to buy the whole fifth fret you want to place that ring finger on the second first and third string and you want to strum from the fifth string which is this one all right that's your first card, which is the D major, all right? You want to get that E major, you just slide it up a hole, and you add that 7th fret to the 8th fret right there, all right? And I do apologize if my amp is giving a little bit of hiss, you know. I'm having a little bit of techni technical difficulties, but I know you guys understand, you know, there's no reason for me not to do this tutorial, you know. All right, so, um, yeah, so you following. Then to the verse. Right to this side is on destiny. 
All right, so that's that C sharp minor. To get the C sharp minor, you want to bar the whole fourth fret. Place that middle finger on the second string, fifth fret. Pinky finger on the third string, sixth fret. Ring finger on the fourth string, sixth fret, right there. And you want to strum from the fifth string, which is the A string, all right? To get the B minor, you're going to go down a hole. So you want to, this pointer finger is supposed to be barring the second fret. So from here, and you get here. So again. So what we got so far, I'm going to take it from the intro. Every man that I write to decide is. Then you want to get to that F sharp minor. You want to still bar the whole second fret and you want to place that ring finger on the fifth string, fourth fret, and the pinky below at the fourth string, all right? And as usual, if you guys want to switch it wrong, whatever makes you comfortable, all right? To get the minor seven, the F sharp minor seven, you lift that finger, all right? So we got so far, the verse. Every man got a right to decide his own destiny. You want to go back to that? Whoop, my bad. All right, I got it. You want to go back to that D major. And that's all the cards. All right, so you're going to. Every man got a right to decide his own destiny to the D major. C sharp minor to B minor, F, ma F sharp minor to D major, and again repeat, B minor, F sharp minor to D major, C sharp minor, B minor, F sharp minor, D major, and the same thing is going to go for the chorus. Brother, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're so right. We're going to fight, we're going to fight, we're going to fight, fighting for a right. When you get to that D major, you want to stay there. Right. Then in a Zimbabwe. So again. in a Zimbabwe. It up in a Zimbabwe, Africans are liberated. Zimbabwe, da 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 Zimbabwe. To the verse, no more internal power struggle. We come together to overcome. Soon we'll find out who is. You know, and on and on and on. That's basically the whole song. All right, so remember, intro is the D major to the E major. The verse is the C sharp minor, B minor, F sharp minor, back to D. All right, if you're having problems figuring it out, go and go back and listen to the original. All right, and you'll have a clear understanding of what's going on right here. All right? Now that's a stock line for this song. And that part is in the verse. All right? Now, a stock line is something that accompanies, a guitar line that accompanies the bass line. All right? So if we have a rhythm guitarist and a lead guitarist, the lead guitarist can concentrate on the stock line and a little bit of licks. And for this song, it's in the verse. All right? While the, the rhythm can stick to, you know, the, ver uh, the strumming. All right? So for this song, let's... We're gonna start right here. I want you guys, I'm gonna go slow and I want you guys to watch and follow. So it's like this.
Again, I'm going to go slower. And that's basically it for the stock line. You listen to the verse, listen to the song and you know, you'll be able to play. Now for your strumming, right? Remember it's reggae and this song is one strike. And remember reggae is on the down and not the up, it's not an upstroke. It won't sound good. It's a different from, different from, all right? So what you wanna do is, you wanna, whenever you strike down, you wanna apply the pressure with this hand at the same time. All right, so you wanna squeeze and release. They work together. And try not to. No, that is not reggae. One strike down. You mute it. That's basically it. All right. That is how you play Zimbabwe by Robert Nesta Marley, popular known as Bob Marley. A very popular song. Now, if you guys have some more requests for me, put it down there in the comment section. Do not forget to like, comment, share, most importantly, do not forget to subscribe. If you have not yet subscribed, hit that button right now, hit the notification bell, hit all. Whenever I post a new video or a new tutorial, you will be first to know. And also continue giving me your support. I really appreciate it. We got a lot more work to get done. This is the only channel that really caters for island music, reggae, soca, ska, mento, or whatever. In the meantime, check out one of these two tutorials right here. Bless up on yourself. Peace out. One love.